Hey, what's up guys? How y'all doing today? Y'all, y'all ready for some good news? Have you been ready for it? Guess what? We got a message for Darius Dalton Jackson, baby. You going to jail. You going to jail. You going to jail, y'all. Darius has violated the terms of his restraining order. And like everything in his life, he did it in the dumbest way possible. On top of that, people have found out and this is what I always say. When somebody is an abuser, a liar, a cheater, baby, all their dealings are treated as sent. They have no integrity in the same way they screwed over someone that actually gave them a bloodline. It's the same way they'll screw over you. Y'all, Armand Wiggins is hot. He is mad. Darius uh, uh, act with no integrity. Shocker. No morals. Oh my God. Not the person that was beating the mother of his child. And he literally is trying to get his story out. We're talking about Darius in the dumbest way matter. And you know what? He sent it to the head chipmunk. He took an exclusive away from Armand Wiggins and gave it to the head chipmunk in charge. Woman hater, black woman, don't like her. DJ Tom and Jerry. Y'all, let's get into this mess because you cannot make this up. But the most important thing is the gods are smiling on Kiki Palmer. This is going to be a slam dunk. Darius has officially violated the terms of his probation. And Kiki has high-powered lawyers. If you do not know, she is being represented by Laura Wasser's firm. She got two high-powered attorneys on the case. They are not playing. Meanwhile, Darius is trying to do a Tory Lanez and run the DJ Academics. Baby, DJ Academics couldn't keep Tory Lanez out of jail. Darius, what you think he's going to do to you? You don't got Tory Lanez fan base. You don't got Tory Lanez money. And you don't got Tory Lanez's sense. The only thing you got, and you don't got Tory Lanez receding uh, a hairline. Kiki, if Darius is wearing a lace front, please blink twice. We would like to know. Again, the DJ Academics mess didn't even work for Darius. Y'all, let's get into, first of all, how he violated the restraining order. It's a beautiful morning. Woo! Okay, first of all, Darius actually broke the law. It is illegal in California to record somebody without their permission. In New York, it is a one-party consent state, meaning if we have a conversation and I know I'm recording you secretly, it's okay. The conversation can be recorded. In the uh, in California, both parties that are be all parties that are recorded must know that they are being con recorded and of course consent to that. Okay. What's more, you can get around the law if you are in a public area. So say we go out to lunch and I'm recording you. That can happen because it is a public space and there is a chance, no matter how small, that someone else overheard. That's why you don't have private conversations out in the public. However, Darius broke into Kiki's house, was trespassing, right? Was trespassing and he recorded Kiki. All right. This isn't how he's going to jail. I'm just giving you the thing. He recorded Kiki in her private home. He did not have permission to be there. He did not have consent to record her. And the mother on the phone, he did not. He she even though he told her I'm recording. Well, actually, he didn't even tell them that he was recording. He literally recorded the mom without consent. That's two people that can press charges on you. What's more? OK, what's more? Darius, uh, uh, he did not have permission to record. Now, interestingly enough, in the restraining order, he said, I asked the Kiki, got the judge's permission to allow me to record calls or communications that Darius makes to me when those calls or communications violate this restraining order. Darius doesn't have that ability. Kiki has that ability, okay? What's more? OK, that is more important to realize. Let's get into the part where he violated the restraining order and he is going to jail. On top of that, I listened to that audio on Armand Wiggins thing. He really thought that audio that he that Armand Wiggins released it. The fact that Darius even gave that to Armand shows that he's not dealing with reality. Kiki's mom is cursing him out. I'll get into the transcript. It's actually pretty funny. 
but it makes him look even more guilty, more like an abuser. And like Kiki's mom was scared for her daughter's welfare. And Kiki was trying to be deadly calm because she felt in danger and she wanted him gone. It makes everything she says even look more. Anyway, let's get into this. She asked for an order not to abuse. Check this out. I have asked the judge and the judge granted the order for Darius to not do the following things to Kiki or anyone listed in the restraining order. Leo is listed, but it is Kiki. Harass, attack, strike, threaten, assault, hit, follow, stalk, molest, destroy personal property, keep under a surveillance, impersonate, block movements, annoy by phone, or other electronic means. That term, annoy by phone or other electronic means, okay? Or disturb the peace. Disturbing the peace, okay? Hold on, let's get into it. What is meant by disturbing peace, you might ask? Well, it's so funny because California actually outlines it in law what that means. It means... To destroy someone's mental or emotional calm, disturbing the peace includes coercive, coercive control. Coercive control means a number of acts that unreasonably limit the free will of individual rights of any person. Isolating someone from their friends, relatives, or other support. Keeping them for food or basic needs. Controlling or keeping track of them, including their movements. Threats to immigration status, making them do something they don't want to do. Controlling or interfering with someone's contraceptive, blah, 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 blah. Again, um, it also includes. What does disturbing the peace mean? You may ask, well, guess what? California actually outlined that in their domestic violence um, information kit when you file. It means to destroy someone's mental or emotional calm. There is no way in the world that Darius can argue that his actions did not destroy Kiki's mental or emotional calm. By releasing tape, a tape segment that he had no permission to tape, right? By releasing that to the general public, to Armand Wiggins, who is a huge, has a huge influential platform with reach to take that call to prove that you had a right to hit me and to justify your actions in public court where you know there is a restraining order again, to make accusations against my mom, to chop and screw the audio so that it makes my mom look bad and me look bad, to make me look like a liar in public in the public court of public opinion instead of going before the court to do all those things is 100 can be looked at to disturb the emotional and mental calm kiki has high powered attorneys baby we are going to argue that and to think darius is going to be sitting in jail but judging from what kiki's mama said right he might like that to be to know that you did all this just to have dj academics wage a war a Tory Lane style war against, again, I was about to say Megan Thee Stallion, against Kiki Palmer. Darius, you know what? God is on Kiki's side. No weapon farmed against her, especially when that idiot is doing it, shall prosper. No weapon farmed against her shall prosper. Darius is going to jail. <laughs> and that's where he belongs. This dummy. I thought when Armand Wiggins said that he was having Darius, I was like, why would he do that? That's violating the restraining order. I thought he was pulling out of Armand Wiggins because he realized that he could actually go to jail for this. And at the end of the day, you pulled out just so you could screw Armand over and give it to DJ Tom and Jerry, head woman hater. And he couldn't even do it. This is what you're spending your money on? Waging a campaign of bots? That it looks like bots. Again, this is all my opinion. And also, DJ Academics, you somehow think that this public campaign is going to what? Make everybody hate Kiki? And even it does, buddy, you're going to be sitting in jail. 
Y'all, I feel sorry for Kiki that she ever thought this fool could change. And at the end of the day, you literally had a baby with the ops, but it's okay. It's okay. Baby, you've seen the light and you all will be protected and got it. Y'all, shout out to Darius. I can't wait to see uh, the lawyer submit something saying he violated his restraining order. And again, before y'all be like, oh, well, they don't know where it came from. Darius was the only person in, in, in possession of that recording. He gave that recording. Once he got that restraining order, he had a legal responsibility to tell whoever it is do not share that because that could put me in jail. And if Darius is willing to say, well, I don't know. Well, who'd you give it to? Because now we're going to press charges against that person. Okay, y'all. Because it is illegal to record someone, but also to distribute a private uh, recording without that person's explicit uh, permission. And no DJ academics and no Armand Witt, nobody unless you did the standards of journalistic integrity can actually say that you did it. And if the journalistic integrity is when you actually go and you say, hey, you contacted, we have this recording, blah, 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 blah. Do you have a comment? You need to make them aware. If they were made aware, Kiki's lawyers would have said that is an illegal recording. And if you post that, you will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Y'all, this is just heating up. Kiki is five, zero, Darius zero. Yes, we are keeping score to God's chosen. Y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. Talk to y'all later. But I am going to be making lots of updates. All right, bye.